Hi, I'm Dan at MobilityBuddies.com. We're a dealer for Zora Mobility Scooters. I'm going to show you how to unpack a Hummer XL or a Titan scooter that will come in this big box. It looks rather intimidating, but it's actually pretty simple. All you got to do is cut the uh, straps off, which I've already done. Then you pull this cover off the top. And then you pull this packing material out. You'll need a pair of scissors or a really sharp knife to cut some of these zip ties. Take the basket out. Then you might think, oh man, how am I going to lift that out of there? But you're not. The sides come right off. get rid of these cardboard posts. All this packing material is 100% recyclable. It's all, all it is is heavyweight cardboard. So now you're just left with the scooter all bundled up in plastic. So just start with a nice sharp pair of scissors and just start cutting all the plastic off. I find it's easier to use a good pair of scissors than a knife because you don't have to worry so much about scratching the scooter or cutting yourself. Okay, once you've got that off, you just move back to the front end of the scooter. There's a zip tie to cut right here in the front. That'll release this bubble wrap here. And then you have a handle. Just pull up on that handle and you raise the tiller. Then grab the seat back and pull it up and you're good to go there. Now we actually have the scooter pretty well unpacked. Get a little more of this plastic out of the way. Underneath the scooter is the rack that holds the basket. And there's batteries down there underneath. So what I like to do is I like to just put the seat back down and this is the handle that separates the front from the rear. So you just take the front off, wheel it over to the side and do the same with the rear half. Then here's our batteries. I just grabbed the, the front half by the handle here in the front and it's completely out of the, the container. Very little lifting. Now to get the uh, scooter ready to move and release the brake in the back 
and let it sit there just like that. There you are. Now we'll put the batteries on. And it'll be a little easier with the seat down. Okay, the battery has this lip in the back. It fits in a pocket on the frame. And the connectors are on the front and they just engage automatically. And this is the hold down for the batteries to secure them. Just turn the cl uh, knob clockwise a bit to tighten it up. Now it's ready to test out a little bit. You got a lever here. It's the same lever that I, that's on the front here. So you can move the tiller. Okay, the light's blinking at me and that tells me that it's not engaged on the transmission. It was in the freewheel mode. So now I turn the key off, turn it back on. Alright, it's good to go. Next is, you need to put the seat down in order to put the basket frame on. It just isn't quite enough room otherwise. So the basket frame rack slides right in those two holes. Then you put the seat back up. Then the basket just fits in there just like that. You got the owner's manual, you got the charger, you got a rear view mirror. And it's just that easy.